My name is Liz Makeley, and I'm an Applications Engineer here at Keithley Instruments, a Tektronix company. Today I'll be going through a demo on measuring the open circuit voltage of a battery cell. The open circuit voltage is simply the voltage on the battery when no other load is connected to the terminals. This measurement is intrinsic to the battery's chemistry, and it's one of the most critical measurements that we can make on a cell. The battery open circuit voltage can be used for things like modeling the relationship between the capacity of the battery or the state of charge and the voltage. And it can also be used to judge the quality of the battery by measuring the self discharge behavior. A battery cell that's been fully charged and allowed to rest with nothing connected will slowly discharge over time due to internal currents. A battery cell with defects such as pinholes in the separator, micro shorts due to dendrites, or conductive contaminants will discharge faster, leading to larger changes in the open circuit voltage over time. Before we get started with the demo, it's important to consider safety as batteries are power sources. Always make sure to prevent any shorts between the battery terminals. And if you're working with cells or packs that may expose you to high currents or voltages, Make sure that any cables, connectors, or PPE that you're using is properly rated. Also consider using fusing in your system to protect your test equipment from any high current events. To make the measurements today, we'll be using an 18650 cell, which we've placed in our test fixture to make connections simpler. We will also be using the DMM7510 graphical touchscreen multimeter. The DMM7510 is a great option for measuring the battery open circuit voltage because the 14 ppm basic one-year accuracy on the 10 volt range means that your measurements will be reliable and repeatable and it will reduce concerns on instrument inaccuracy for applications such as battery grading. So that gives you a little bit of a larger target to hit when you're measuring high quality batteries. The seven and a half digit resolution also means that you can detect changes in the battery's open circuit voltage reliably as small as tens to hundreds of microvolts. So you can detect changes in defective batteries faster, saving critical test time. To make the measurements, we'll simply take the leads from the DMM and connect it directly to the battery's terminals. We can see the measurement pop up on the front panel uh, since we're measuring in continuous mode. The DMM7510 is great for benchtop applications because of its large touchscreen front panel, but it also works well in automated systems because we have both Skippy and TSP language options, as well as a number of remote connection options. We can further refine this measurement by using the rel function. If I disconnect my terminals and short them together, the DMM should be measuring zero volts. I can ensure this by selecting the rel function, which takes a measurement that will then be subtracted from all subsequent measurements on the DMM. Reconnecting my battery, I can see that the resulting voltage is a little bit lower because we've eliminated any offsets from the system, giving us just the voltage of the battery. For more information on our DMM7510 and all of our great battery test solutions, please visit our website at tech.com. Thanks for watching.